Hi there. Today I'll talk to you about pot belly appearance and protruded tongue that is seen in cretinism. Cretinism is a condition caused by extreme deficiency of thyroid hormone during the stages of development of a child, mainly during fetal life, infancy or early childhood. In cretinism, as the thyroid hormone is deficient, the normal actions of thyroid hormone doesn't occur effectively. Thyroid hormone is mainly essential for skeletal growth and neural development, apart from many other important functions. But uh, when you take in childhood early stages of development, these are very crucial actions that need to occur for normal development of the child, for which thyroid hormone is very much essential. So when it is deficient, there will be failure of body growth and mental retardation. When you consider growth of a child, there are two main hormones that are essential for normal growth, which are thyroid hormone and growth hormone. The thyroid hormone is mainly essential for skeletal growth, whereas the growth hormone is essential for soft tissue growth. In hypothyroidism, what happens? The thyroid hormone level, it is decreased. So when this hormone is less, the actions of the hormone will also be less. So the skeletal growth is affected and it will be decreased. Whereas the growth hormone level could be normal. So the soft tissue growth, which is an action of growth hormone, will occur normally. So now what happens is there will be a disproportionate growth. The skeletal growth is not catching up to the soft tissue growth. That is the basis of why pot belly appearance and protruded tongue is seen in cretinism. So now the soft tissue growth is occurring normally as the growth hormone is occur acting normally. So when you take pot belly appearance, the soft tissue in the abdomen is growing normally, whereas the skeletal growth, the general height of the body is not increasing. It is not catching up to the soft tissue growth. So the excess soft tissue that is the normal growth which is not able to catch up with the skeletal growth will all accumulate in the abdomen giving the pot belly appearance. The same goes with protruded tongue. The soft tissue growth is occurring normally everywhere in the body including the face, the lips and the tongue. But the skeletal growth even of the face is not catching up to the soft tissue growth. So then what will happen? All the soft tissue that is not able to catch up with the normal growth of the skeleton it will appear to be increased in size giving a protruded tongue the excess growth of the tongue it is not actually excess it is a normal growth due to normal action of soft tissue um, i mean growth of soft tissue due to growth hormone but it is not able to catch up with the skeletal growth of the face therefore the tongue protrudes giving the protruded tongue appearance seen in cretinism. In summary the standard skeleton due to a deficiency of thyroid hormone combined with a normal soft tissue growth due to the action of normal growth hormone in the abdomen and tongue gives the appearance of a pod belly and protruded tongue in cretinism. If you like the video, click the thumbs up, share it, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you can get updates whenever I post a new video. Until then, happy learning!